It's been 400 years since the last great conjunction occurred. On December 21st, 2020, nearly everyone around the world will be able to witness this spectacle again. This is a very rare event, because next time Saturn and Jupiter will be this close to each other in the sky, only on the 15th of March 2080. Mm -hmm. Today is the 4th of January 2021. Like many people, I also miss the Great Conjunction due to the overcast. You know the situation, clear sky every day, and then during a significant astronomical event, just like in Matrix. The same thing happened this time, but it shouldn't really upset you, because maybe you still have a chance to make it to 2080. Anyway, astronomy is not just about missing very important astronomical occasions, astronomy is more than that. Today you are going to find out why you shouldn't regret that you missed the Great Conjunction, what great astronomical events are waiting for us in the next decade, and how astronomy made you a unique person will be very interesting. Hi there, Mihailo is here. So what to do if you miss the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn? First of all, don't panic. It sounds silly, but in fact, the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn is not such a significant astronomical event. Yes, maybe similar conjunction will happen only in 60 years, and all its beauty we will probably never be able to see again, but the next decade is also full of extremely interesting astronomical occasions. By the way, do you know this little boy? This is an asteroid Apophis. It still causes some panic in society that it will allegedly destroy our planet on April 13th, 2029. Actually, Apophis will make a close encounter on that day, passing about 32,000 kilometers from Earth, but not closer, so fortunately, memes with Elon Musk will survive. On the other hand, Apophis will be visible to the unaided eye due to its proximity. It will be as bright as this star in the Big Dipper. Through time, it will be even possible to see how it moves across the sky. Don't you think that this is much cooler than just a conjunction of two ordinary planets? Telescope owners are more fortunate, and perhaps you will be able to see even the shape of the asteroid, especially if you have a telescope like this. By the way, if Apophis will hit our planet after all, everything within a radius of up to 300 kilometers from the impact might be destroyed. Like, if you want to know more very interesting facts. But not only deadly asteroids await us in the future. How about that? 24 solar and 26 lunar eclipses will occur by 2031. Most of them will be visible in North America, Europe and Asia. For example, in the United States, the next total solar eclipse will be visible in 2024 and in Western Europe in 2026. Just don't forget to use solar filters if you don't want your eyes to become scrambled eggs. In addition, by 2031 will happen 5 Mars, 10 Jupiter and 11 Saturn oppositions. A planet at opposition is closest to Earth and marks the best time to observe it. For example, you can compare these two pictures of Mars. The first one was taken during the opposition in 2020 and the second one was taken in 2019, when Mars was quite far from the Earth. If you want to know more about what do the planets look like through an matter telescope, watch this video somewhere here. By the way, 2031 will be also the best year to observe Saturn in the next 50 years. We all love Saturn, right? Besides, in spring 2022 will happen the alignment of four planets. Jupiter, Venus, Mars and Saturn. This will be the best time for planetary observations, even if you don't have a very large telescope. These planets will be located close to each other, and you can also try to take some delightful pictures using your phone. On August 21st, 2024, Europeans will be able to see the lunar occultation of Saturn. It will start late at night, and will last nearly one hour. Hopefully, it won't be cloudy enough to miss such a beautiful astronomical event. In addition, we shouldn't forget about comets. 
There have been several pretty bright comets in the previous 20 years. Maybe in the next decade we will still have a chance to delight at least one comet. And hopefully it won't hit Earth and destroy entire human civilization. As you can see, the next decade is full of remarkable astronomical events. But this is not the most significant thing. The very fact that you're interested in space exploration makes you a unique person. You could have been an ordinary person who spends most of the time on Instagram, TikTok or watching funny videos on YouTube, but instead you wake up at midnight and observe Mars when everyone's asleep. You watch very interesting videos about life on Enceladus or how to choose your first telescope. Yes, you miss the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, but you are still interested in astronomy, which means that you are still interested in something great. Not so many people understand the beauty of space, and especially the importance of our planet. But you do, and that makes you a unique person. I hope you won't miss any rare astronomical events in the future. Thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.